When you have a power failure, it's a relatively obvious thing when it occurs. If you're standing in front of a switch or a router and suddenly the power goes away, the system powers down, the fan stops spinning, the lights go off. It's very simple to see. But we're not always standing in front of our switches. We're not always standing in front of our routers. It becomes a little bit more challenging to troubleshoot when you're not right there. And if you're at a remote site, it becomes even more challenging because we're not exactly sure what may have happened if we lose connectivity to that device. There are a number of different things we have to keep in mind when dealing with power outages. One is where our power is coming from, the original source itself. Is the power getting into our building? Is our power distribution system providing us with the right amount of power? And we're plugging into our switch and plugging into our router. And once it's inside of that switch and router, that switch and router also has its own power supplies. So we have to make sure that those power supplies themselves are operating exactly as we might expect. And if we're having a situation where the power supply is failing or our power source is not as reliable as we might think, then we have, may have problems where the device is available and then it's not available any, any longer. And then it's available again, and then it goes away again. And this occurs over and over again. And you're never quite certain exactly when that might happen. In fact, it might be very randomized as to how it's occurring. So it becomes a little bit more challenging to troubleshoot. One common way to troubleshoot these types of problems is to ensure that you have a UPS. That's an uninterruptible power supply. These are things that you can purchase for individual small and home office use, or it may be a building-wide UPS that you're using. And by connecting your router or switch into this UPS, we know that even if the main power goes away, we can be running on battery or we can be running on a generator and be assured that we're always going to receive power at least from that external source. With many enterprise routers and enterprise switches, we also have options to prepare for the worst should it happen. And that means adding additional power supplies into the same chassis. So we can have multiple power supplies. We can plug in two separate connections to that router or to that switch. We can even run those power connections to two separate power sources. And if you lose one of those power sources or that power supply itself happens to fail, you have a completely redundant power supply in that device that can handle the entire load of that machine all by itself. That way, we can be assured if there's any type of physical problem or any type of problem with a particular power source, we will still be up and running. I've been in previous positions where we have been in the data center and suddenly lost entire racks full of power. Everything that was in the rack suddenly powered off because we did not properly audit the amount of load that was being used by all of those different components. And we overloaded the circuit and the circuit had a break, it suddenly stopped, and everything in that rack went black immediately. Well, obviously, you don't want that to happen to you. So it's very common to be able to audit this. And if you aren't quite certain exactly what you should be looking for or where the certain circuits might be in your environment, get a trained electrician, a licensed electrician, to come in and do this audit with you. So you know exactly how much amperage, how many watts are being used. You understand what a particular load of a circuit should be for that particular circuit. And if you're managing a data center, you can then make sure that you're not going to overload any part of the power grid that you might have in that building. And as this graph is showing, you should always be monitoring how much power you're using. There are so many different resources. There's sensors inside of your routers and inside of your switches. You have UPS systems that will maintain and monitor and provide you with metrics and statistics. You've got a lot of different ways to gather this data. And there are many different logging systems out there that can create for you an idea of exactly what's happening over time. So you can see when the amount of peak power use happens to be for your UPS. And that way, you can keep an eye on this and understand if there are any spikes or if anything goes farther down than you might expect so that you can understand exactly the impact that you might have if you're running high or low on these power sources in your environment. By taking advantage of all of these different techniques, you can be assured that the power going into your router or your switch is going to provide you with maximum uptime.